I've already done a video featuring all of these speakers. In fact, I've already done a video featuring the Onyx Studio 6. Yes, I know uh, Onyx Studio 7 is coming out. That's why I was kind of interested in getting this in quickly because I'm waiting for my Onyx Studio 7 to come. I thought this would be an interesting video. As I said, I've already done these two together. However, what we know is it has amazing low end deep bass. It has a nice balanced bass and it can go pretty deep, which means you covered upper, mid, lower, deep bass. And then we've got the trance. Well, I'm saying it's the trance. What's it actually called? It goes by different names. The Soundcore Trance, the Soundcore Rave Mega, and I've seen it as just the Soundcore Mega. In fact, in the manual, it says uh, Soundcore Mega and Soundcore Trance. A couple of, th and another reason, another reason I'm redoing this video is because I did get a couple of things wrong in my first video about this very, very confusing speaker. It does seem, there's a problem with Soundcore because uh, they're trying to keep a lot of the retailers happy by giving them dedicated versions, which means they keep changing their name and a few of the specs, or they t put lights in, take lights out, and they don't list it on their own website. And it's, and, and it's very, very confusing. Speakers look the same. You don't see it there. You see it there, not on the website. Oh, that's on the website. What's going on? All I can tell you, Soundcore Trance is what this one is. How do I know it's definitely the Trance? Uh, it's got it on the bottom, but I can see the same speaker even in the manual rave, Soundcore Trance is also the Soundcore Mega. And in the UK, I see it marketed by people like Curry's other uh, retailers. Soundcore Rave Mega. Three different names, basically the same speaker, but I did get something wrong. There is a difference. There are two versions. There is the A3392 and there's the A3393 of this speaker. The difference it will be on the back. You always, no matter which version, get your auxiliary input. But very handily, on the A3392, you also get no, a guitar and mic input and with adjustable uh, gain, volume, knob, whatever you want to call it. Sounds great, but when I try to have a quick look online, the only place I could see it was on eBay, and they were uh, asking like 280 quid for that extra facility. Just to say, those are the different versions. They are definite different versions and they have different model numbers. Look for the letters A3392 if you want the guitar mic input. Otherwise, it's gonna be a version like this, A3393. It seems they all have lights. One of the tricks is, like the Rave Neo, also known as the Trance Go, is same speaker, except one has LEDs, the other doesn't, as again, seems to be uh, keeping retailers happy. So, they all seem to have lights as far as I can see, no matter which version you get of this speaker. I didn't realize this is one of the fake, fakest, speakers I've ever had because there's no EQ tuning uh, when you go into the app, but you do have a choice of indoor, outdoor mode. Sounds great, I can tailor it just how I want it, but no, actually it's the same actual EQ, except that indoor uh, tailor takes off some at the high end and just doesn't go loud. No particular reason, it's the same EQ, just won't go as loud. In other words, that's a fake indoor mode. It just, that if you switch between between the two modes and you was in indoor and then you go outdoor, it just plays at a higher volume. And so you suddenly think, oh, that's a better one, oh, it's more dynamic. No, it's just playing louder. It's a trick. It's a fake EQ setting. Just stick with outdoor mode. There's nothing you can do in terms of custom EQ with this particular speaker. And the other fake thing was, I was talking about two tweeters. It's only got one tweeter. So there's <laughs> a tweeter there apparently but it's not connected, it doesn't work. You've got one tweeter, one woofer. So that's, that's a fake tweeter to go with the fake EQ mode. Um, and that's one of the reasons why the sound will be as you hear it. So we already knew, upper bass heavy, low bass heavy, mm, can be quite balanced. I thought just before, the, before I get hold of the Onyx 7, let's see exactly where we are with all three speakers. You're bass lovers, we all love bass. Um, and you're gonna get handle on, what you'll get out of them because on paper, 30 watts, 50 watts, but only if you plug the mains lead in, that's a JBL trick as well. 80 watts, oh, 80 watts, we can, we can knock down walls with that, can't we? Uh, shall I really go over the specs? I haven't given you the specs of all these, as I said. In terms of price, 180 pounds, no less for the Onyx Studio 6, but it looks very nice. It's Harman Kardon. I thought Harman Kardon is really the, the upscale end of JBL. I, actually, I'm thinking it's just the design element of JBL. They just seem to like pretty designs. They still have issues with their speakers. 
Uh, 80 pound, it's the bargain. This is the pound for pound world champion, as far as I'm concerned, concern, at 80 pound for the motion boom. And <laughs> same speaker, different prices, depending on where you buy it and what name they give it. I'm seeing 129 pounds this morning on Amazon. Same speaker, different name. On Curry's 149 pound, you've probably got no idea who Curry's are. It's a retailer in the UK in terms of batteries. 36 watt hours for the Rave Mega. 37 watt hours. It's a bigger battery in this little 30 watt speaker than in your 80 watt huge mega, massive, massive, massive. Um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the Trance. Rave Mega, Mega, whatever. Um, but then, it's a teeny weeny, teeny, teeny. 11.9 watts. That's actually a third. Got a third of the battery capacity. You can only play those in mono, even if you've got a pair. Although they do will do party mode. But these two will do. Not party cost. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't need to connect 100 speakers. I do want the facility of stereo. Stereo though, on, stereo only for same model speaker. Remember that. Party cask, mix speakers, but if you want stereo, it's gotta be the same model speaker. Only the motion boom. Only the motion boom has USB-C connection, but it doesn't have an auxiliary input and the other two do. Now, you're gonna like this. Oh, I know a lot of you like this. It's on the back, doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter which one you get. You've got a USB slot there. You can stick a flash cut, a flash, you know, a, a dongle, <laughs> a dongle in there. You can play your music directly off that. It's not, it doesn't need another device to play music. This can be used as a standalone uh, music playing device. You've got your volume controls and multifunction buttons on top. That alone may be a reason for people to buy it. Gonna get straight in. Gonna start with a, obviously I'm volume matching them, but around 50% volume. watts. It's far more powerful on paper than the other two speakers. And it is very bass heavy, but oh dear, oh dear. There's no deep bass. It's all mids. There's a lot of upper bass. There's a lot of mid bass. There's not much uh, in terms of deep bass. Uh, in terms of deep bass, 30 to 65 hertz. Even the motion boom is 4 dB up on the trance. But in terms of that upper bass, 100 to 200 hertz, it's at minimum six to seven decibels. Six to seven, three decibels is doubling the power. Six to seven decibels up. But it's, oh, it's not balanced, is it? It's not balanced. That tweeter, oh, it's a little bit, it's, we're not getting the definition. So it's a very dark sound. But this is a party speaker. They say it's a party proof speaker. You probably will be guaranteed a party proof experience. You go outside, it's gonna go boom, 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 boom. You don't, doesn't really matter if it's deep bass. You just want, you're having a drink, you're talking, I'm still getting the music, thump, thump, thump. That's what you're gonna get. There's no finesse, no definition. You're not listening to delicate nuances in your music, are you? It's doing what it says on the box. It's a party speaker. No deep bass, very, very bass dominant. Makes it very dark sounding. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I really like it. Um, don't forget, this is all on battery. You can stick the mains lead in. It will go louder. We'll get to that later. Lovely, lovely, low end deep rumble. You're probably listening on your phone and you can't hear any difference at all. Of course, we're talking playing down to like a proper 30, 30 hertz. That's another thing, people saying, 
Why don't you use real instruments? If I'm testing frequency response, uh, you, you really, if ever, even using a real instrument, go below 40 hertz. It's almost nothing below 40 hertz. Um, uh, and then you're talking quite uh, exotic instruments. Electronic, you calling it fake music, can go down to 20 hertz. And there's the difference. I'm testing speakers, guys. I'm not saying come and have a listen with me and oh, there's some classical, I really like it. No, mate, I'm saying I'm testing the speakers. That's why I'm not using the EDM, uh, probably mostly. It's got a stronger frequency response into the bass. And let's face it, most of you guys are saying, what's well, got the most bass? It's like, no good me, you know, playing a guitar. It's not going down to 20 hertz, is it? Anyway, I just, <laughs> okay, I'm getting off the track. I'm just saying, I'm saying that because it's playing properly down to 30 hertz. And if you're playing elect electronic music, if I play real instruments, it's never going to tell you that. Um, down to 30 hertz, lovely low end, low end rumble. But only got one tweeter. Again, bass dominant but far more balanced than, than this upper bass heavy thing because even the tweeter has given us a lovely, it's a, still a nice smooth listen. But of course, we've got, you know, we've got a stereo and it's balanced. It just doesn't have the low end. So, you know, clearly for me already, this motion boom is sitting in between. Huge upper bass, huge deep bass, low end rumble, goes along the floor. We're a bit more balanced, but far more deep bass than you would expect in, or we've ever had. And speak like that before. I'm gonna go on to my uh, next test, which is at uh, around around 75% volume. Please don't make this any harder, babe. Then it already has to be. Just cause you lost me, don't need to open the wine No medication, antidepressants, all you need is time No communication, bringing me on FaceTime, baby I ain't big enough And next time you see me, you'll be completely glad that we broke up Take it from me, you feel better, you feel better It's hard to believe, you feel better, you feel better, baby there's no need for a fight, just repeat it to me when I tell you goodbye Give it three weeks, you will feel better, better without me Motion boom, custom mode, Onyx Studio 6, same called Trance. You'll notice the headroom 65% on the Trance. It's the same loudness as Onyx Studio 6 at 80% and 70% for the sound called boom. In terms of that upper bass, 100 hertz to 200 hertz, it's a no-brainer for the sound called Trance in outdoor mode, if that's your thing. Minus 20 in laughs, that's 6 decibels up on Studio 6 and on the motion boom. Mid bass 2. Minus 23 means 3 decibels up on the Studio 6, 2 decibels up on the Motion Boom. The sound called Trance doesn't bother with a deep bass. Deep bass for me, 30 to 65 hertz. And now that's 7 decibels down on the Studio 6, 4 decibels down on the Motion Boom, which really is the middle ground with the other two speakers. It's got a bit of clarity, it's got the bass, but it doesn't have the deep bass of the Onyx Studio 6, which is 3 decibels up on the Motion Boom but it can match or slightly outdo the Studio 6 for mid and upper bass. So you can see how fat that bass is on the Studio 6. 
we're looking at the 40 hertz, it's still, it's not even rolled off at 40 hertz. 40 hertz for the motion boom, it's completely rolled off. But it's there, but it rolled off. Minus 36, minus 18, 18 decibels down at 40 hertz. Even worse for the sound core trance. At 40 hertz, we're around 37, 38, which is even less than the motion boom. Bear in mind those volumes because obviously I'm keeping them volume matched, which means I'm at 65% on the trance when I'm at 85% already on the Onyx. We're playing off battery, it's only got a small battery, would have gone louder uh, on mains power. And of course, I will get to that in the maximum volume test. However, I think this is something of a sweet spot for the trance. It's, I think this is where it's most balanced. It's not quite so bass, upper bass, mid bass dominant, although it is dominant clearly in that area but there's a little bit of sweetness coming through on the tweeter. Around these volumes, it's a bit more balanced and you could have a bit more of a reasonable listen outside of uh, just using it as a party speaker, but it's still got no deep bass and no pretense of it. They're, they're sticking all their cards on the table and saying, forget the, the low bass. Uh, there's only some deep bass, but relatively nothing compared to both of the other two speakers. It's all mids and upper where it dominates, but I think it's at its sweet spot. It's gonna, is this is the king. This is the king with its teeny, teeny battery. What a, what a tease from Harman Kardon. But it's nice to have that benefit, have, you know, have that low deep bass, the option of it, and maybe the Onyx 7 will be the one. But again, in between the two, if you want a bit more balance, with a handle, integrated handle, uh, there's, there's the motion boom. Now, you can see there's a big difference in the volume steps. Uh, well, the maximum volume. Uh, when I'm using, you know, I'm doing port, I keep getting asked to do all sorts of things, guys. I'm sticking for now with portable Bluetooth speakers. I've got to specialize in that. There's a million, billion speakers out there. And uh, if, I own, if I've got all Bluetooth portable speakers, that's my best options for comparing against the next portable Bluetooth speaker. Uh, just bear that in mind. But as I said, so we're near 100%. So I'm gonna play that 100% and then volume match the other two speakers. 100% on the Onyx means I'm now at 80% on the trance, 85% on the boom. Got me delusional, I'm still holding out some hope. Super sentimental, think it's fire when it's smoke. Drive me after mental, wish I was in on a joke. I admit the problem is I can't be on my own. I'm a heart broke like a m m m m m million times. Yeah, I've been told like a book, 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 billion times. But I'll give it a trip. Even pushed to its limit 100%. It's, it's hanging on to that deep bass. 
And really, there's not much change all the way through. We've lost a bit of balance now uh, at these, you know, 80% and above on the trance. Again, um, it's getting more recessed uh, on that from what we're getting from the tweeter, whereas I thought around 65%, it was a bit more balanced. But it's, it's, it's staying the same. Oh, massive, massive, fantastic, really love it. Low, proper, deep bass. Bam, boom, 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 boom. Lots of punch, lots of punch. Mid, upper, no deep bass, no deep bass. Got a bit of everything. Oh, yes, we've got definition, we've got a bit of stereo. No, it doesn't go as deep. No, there isn't the upper bass, but it's a bit of everything. It's, and it's the cheapest. Don't forget the prices. Around 130 quid, 180 quid. 80 pounds, 80 pounds. It's a bargain, isn't it? Maximum volume, okay, okay. And I'm gonna plug the mains lead in. I'm gonna show you just how loud it would go and compare them all. How loud would they go? How much bass? Because you wanna know, oh, and yeah, what's got more bass? What's got more bass? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna go to maximum volume. Life's better when you're on top. Baby, trick me up like I'm a cherry pop. Oh, your rhythm gonna make my candy rock. Baby, oh. So loudest of the bunch, the 80 watts of the Soundcore trance, but it's all mids upper bass, which means the peak isn't that big. Because if we look at the motion boom, it might not have the bass, but it's stronger everywhere else, which gives it a stronger instantaneous peak by no less than five decibels over the Soundcore trance. Even overall, we're only talking one decibel louder for the Soundcore trance versus the motion boom. But it's all about that bass, isn't it? If we average out the whole of the bass, minus 29 and luffs, we're talking five decibels up on the motion boom overall. But in terms of deep bass, yet again, it's only just edging it over the motion boom, but massively outdoing the motion boom in terms of mid and upper bass, which means motion boom, because it's so strong in the mids and the uppers now, it's gonna sound a bit thin and brittle. Then we've got this Onyx Studio 6 on mains power. It goes louder on mains power by quite a bit, actually. That's three decibels louder over the Studio 6 when it's on battery. And what that translates into is four decibels more overall in bass and stronger everywhere. Deeper, mids and upper bass is stronger than the Onyx Studio 6 when it's on battery. But Motion Boom is still louder, even though rated at 50 watts the Studio 6 because it's pushing some serious deep bass, which is a very amplifier. Costly, it allows the Motion Boom to go a little bit louder because it's pushing mids and highs, which obviously is easier to run from the amp. So overall, the Soundcore Trance is the loudest. It does have the most bass, but if you want deep bass, it still isn't the one. That one will be the Onyx Studio 6 in both battery mode and mains mode. Motion Boom, again, something between the others, although at maximum volume, it's a bit bass light compared to these other two bass heavy speakers. So ultimately, um, yeah, it does go the loudest. Oh, that's a huge shock, because it's 80 watts. It does go the loudest. It has got the most bass, 
but it doesn't have almost any uh, notable deep bass. That's your thing, you won't hear anything. Uh, but it's all mids and upper, yes, it does go the loudest, yes, it has the most bass, but whether it's on battery or on mains, you can't beat the Onyx 6 in this little test for deep bass. It has deep, deep, deep bass, if that's your thing, although on battery, it's simply not going loud enough, if you're looking for loud volumes, uh, to give you a kick. So therefore, at maximum volumes, it's not really a winner because you'd have to put it on mains, whereas it's still, yeah, okay, it's a bit thin. Bear in mind, playing it custom settings. If I went back to default settings, because I'm trying to stick to a one mode, I listen all the way through, to make life a bit easier for everybody. If I go back to default, I will get a little bit more uh, low end kick, but I'm trying to keep things simple. So using my custom settings, yes, it's now a bit thin, a bit brittle, but it goes, look, 30 watts. It's still hanging with these 50 watt, 80 watt speakers because so, and it's 80 quid. It's proving itself to be a bargain. And hey, buy two of them, still cheaper uh, than, well, than the Onyx. And it's still a bargain against, it will be 60 watts on paper, but we know it's gonna sound a lot uh, louder than the 60 watts together. That's 80 watts, and uh, it doesn't have the deep bass that you can get from the motion boom, albeit uh, it's a bit rolled off, quite a bit rolled off, and maximum volume. So what do, you, what do I get out of that? I, you know, I've got stereo, I've got an all-round listen, I've got far more, far more, far more uh, music I can listen to, it's far more genre-friendly, it's got an integrated handle, and that's got a handle, it's floppy, that's got an integrated handle. I quite like the design, I can't deny it. Again, people say it's a handbag. Uh, to me, that's not really a handbag. Uh, to me, that's, look at my, my modern design from Harmon and Carden, I must have lots of money because look, it's got all lovely fabric and it's all about design ethos, isn't it? Anyway, um, I hope you got something out of this. And uh, I will be use, uh, comparing the Onyx 6 to the Onyx 7 when I get hold of that. Yes, I'm gonna get the Charge 5, you're asking me about that, but there's delays on all this stuff as well as delays in my own life and getting stuff done. I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you for watching.